He's been dead for weeks, Captain. I'm sure. I thought so. The only ones still up and moving on this ship are you and me. No more games, Kato. What in blazes are you on about? How long do you intend to play the fool? See, thank you. This is you killed him. This is all your doing. That's ridiculous. Mm, that doesn't seem that concerning of a, you know. For all I know, it could have been you. Me? I'm just a passenger. I have no connections to you people. No motive. Hmm. But in my short time here, I've seen the tension, smelled the bad blood. I don't know what drove you to it, but I'm not surprised. Agreed. It wasn't me, damn it! It wasn't me! Just shut up! You don't know me! You don't know anything about us! I don't know. We didn't always get along, I'll admit. I'd be hard-pressed to call us friends, even. I doubt I would have exchanged two words with Kirk or Rachel if we'd met anywhere else. They're just... We're just too different. But even so, hmm. I didn't hate them. And they didn't hate me. I know that much. None of us. Hmm. Not me, or the captain, or Huey. We're not murderers. We're... We're all just... I wonder if the robe, like, version 2.0 killed him. Stuck in our heads. Too caught up in our own worries to notice when others are hurting. Unable to see beyond our own wants and wounds. Beyond the life we wish we had and think we deserve. Okay. We're just people. I don't... I don't know about this. A personal audio log. Receiving data for playback. This is the Cogito Ergo Sum. I am pleased to report we are proceeding on course and on schedule. Schedule? Alright, Megamind. Projected to arrive at Earth in approximately... <sighs> huh? Is that... Uh... <laughs> I need help in here! What the... Open, damn you! Interesting. Hmm, what's in his? Terran horses. Run free in a wide open field. Personal computer. The terminal has been turned off. A thin layer of dust covers the keyboard. A saddle. Insufficient memory for analysis and active memory. Cross referencing archived resources. A simple harness developed by humans to more comfortably ride horses other and other Terran animals. Electric pipe with a dead battery lies on the counter. Hmm. In the center of his private quarters, the captain lies perfectly still. Judging from the color of his skin, it's likely been some time since he breathed his last breath. Notice how they purposely didn't tell us um, that it had, like, been a week out since we're set to go. This does not concern you, Clank. Uh, I'm, my name's Cube. Kato shudders his, his hands, balled into fists. Tears stream down his face. All right, well, I guess I'll leave. So now where do I go? Oh, 
does it say? Hmm. Gonna go ahead and save it. Because I can always just turn right around and run back in. I'm gonna do that thing where I go up and around again. <sighs> Since I see no harm in it. Interesting, though, that there's going to be certain sets of sealed doors. Yeah, no, well, that guy didn't change. Hmm. I'm curious to see what happens if he catches us, but I don't want to try. Wait a minute, I hit one and not two. That was my fault. Completely my fault. Alright. What's going on with this thing? This unit is reserved for charter guests. A distress call has been received from this room. Unable to confirm status of occupant at this time. Lifting res access restrictions to allow crew to render aid as necessary. Please input your name. Alright. Well. Uh, except. Profile confirmed. You have been granted access. I'm convinced this behemoth's gonna be in here the second I walk in. Oh yeah, that's not worse. Alright. It's on the access terminal. Private correspondence. Order Adenium. Operation TIE 580905. Well, that's my boss calling me, and I'm not going to answer. So, that's fine. Regarding zeobiological specimen secured in deep space. To reiterate, constant monitoring of specimen during transport is strongly advised. However, in the event of containment breach, specimen comes in contact with the crew, revised orders are as follows. Hey, thanks for the follow. Is it Toothpicks for Robots? Is that what I just read? That's adorable as a name. Coincidentally, we're playing as a robot named Cube. Observe and record specimen activity. Detailed study of specimen remains highest priority. It was none of the crew. We're not actually supposed to be transporting this beast. It was never any of us. It was our special guest. The, the, we weren't supposed to be transporting this thing to Earth. We were the test subjects for the behemoth. That's what they wanted to study. All necessary measures should be taken to ensure delivery. Be advised, the total loss of the crew is considered within acceptable parameters. TDF Special Operations Command. Kitchen unit. There is no indication that these facilities have ever been used even once. Personal computer. Terminal's been turned off. Holographic photo, no image currently displayed. 
somnopathic wellness bed. Hidden beneath the pillow is a loaded handgun. Huey, Captain, Rachel Kirk, Wells, and then this, obviously, so it was the rare red herring this entire time? That's wild to me. All right. Absolutely wild. Alright, we're still gonna go up and around. I'm gonna see if there is at least a text message for my boss about why he was calling. Oh, for Pete's sake. Um... Uh, what? Uh Okay, nothing seems to be going on, so At least nothing in form of text message, so I don't really care. Cuz I was like if it's a quick text, I could solve that. <sighs> I mean, unless it's not the red herring and it was an inbound communication that we got, and that's why it seems like the AI is being all screwy. That's all I could think of. Hmm. I'm trying to be strategic and not actually stay in the corridors too much. Just because I don't want to take the risk. Private quarters, Huey Trumbull. Occupant Huey has been- has regrettably passed away. To facilitate the collection and dispose of all personal effects, restrictive access have been lifted. However, regulations stipulate that all records of entrance be maintained. So, if his goal would be to see how this thing killed, why did he save Kato from going out there and dying? Profile confirmed. You have been granted access. Alright, what do we got? Personal log. Should be receiving the exam results from Earth any day now. If I've passed, then I will be qualified to serve as a captain in the official capacity. That's why he had to be eliminated. Because now the highest ranking official is gonna be um, is gonna be the militant guy. I still haven't told anyone I took it, thinking I'll come clean when we get back to Earth. It won't be easy to part ways with everyone. The thought of the thought alone is a bit depressing. Yeah, I've got to do it before I leave the ship. Gotta get some alone time with Rachel and say what needs to be said. Interstellar transmission. Soul Transit Authority. Notification of examination results. Dear applicant, we regret to inform you at this time. Yada, yada, yada. You did not achieve the passing grade on the captain's certification exam. Results are final and not subject to appeal. And the next exam will be held in six months. We invite you to try again. Soul Transit Authority. Interesting. Kitchen unit. The entire area is spotless. All dishes and utensils are clean and stored in their proper locations. Study materials, an assortment of books and documents relating to the logistics of space travel and space administration. The pages are well-worn and filled with handwritten annotations. 
personal computer. A login prompt is displayed on screen. Holographic photo frame. Five crewmates of the Cognito Ergo Sum pose for a group shot. It's a bed. A book is resting on the pillow. Captain certification exam, practice test, volume 49, or 94-92. Interesting. All right, gonna keep saving. All right. What did you say? Orders? What orders? Yep. To of ensure that it gets course. tested. It all makes sense now. I knew you were up to something. Why else would the military bother chartering a civilian transport? This was your plan all along. Yep. Went snooping in my room, did you? I was right about you, Clank. You're all the same. All this to study your precious specimen. Every death, another data point. <sighs> Those orders, Kato, were in the event of a worst-case scenario. Well, we're in one. What now? Power's been cut. It was you. You killed them. You killed them all, you, you monster. Run, little one. Don't let him catch you. What, now I gotta run from... From Darth, too? Um, what's going on? <gasps> I got taken. Uh, yeah, I guess. The elevator's not gonna be working anymore. Okay. Let's go up to go down. Unless I actually need to go up. Which could be the case. Okay. Oh boy. Is that acid? Pretty sure it is. Yep. All right. I know. Last cube has never had the opportunity to set foot on Earth. Man, that's sad. Okay. Actually. Let's start from here. I don't know where here is. Yeah. I want to check some of the red light panels. It would be in your best interest to stop. The ship is my domain and I its master. Oh. Bridge. Yeah. Interesting. So it was the AI. This whole time. Interesting. So yeah, it was the AI that was... Okay, so I was right the first time. 
uh, let me explain. So, after the Kato, but before we suspected the other guy, I didn't actually suspect the other guy. I still felt like that was too much of a red herring. So, what I thought might be going on, but I, I ruled it out instantaneously. But I thought since incoming transmissions worked, maybe that it got an incoming transmission to per, like to continue on with the test. With or without the consent of the um, of our guy. But then that wouldn't explain like why kill Kirk, why kill Rachel. Or, you know, a, I guess attempt. Because we don't even know if her suit was actually messed with. But why kill Kirk other than to, like, pull them away from going to look at the destroyed radio thing, but rather than having them go out there and see that the radio was fine and intact and then blow it up later, who caught, like, what caused the blow up? Like, how did that start? So... Um... Okay, hold on. I didn't want to do it when we got locked in, because I don't think it's going to behoove us. Oh. So we have to go back on level two. Is it gone? Yeah, it's gone. Cool. I thought that might be the case. Alright. Level three. Alright. Just because, how much you want to bet? How much you want to bet it was this GLaDOS thing that deactivated him? No. All right, guess we use it. Hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I most definitely would like to enter the service dock. Because the, the service room is up. So in theory... Ah... Where am I supposed to be going? That's the real question I have at this point. Am I supposed to be getting back to... Yeah, I'm supposed to be getting back to my master, I think. Just gonna walk around the whole thing. Oh! 
Cryogenic stasis unit is silent. Information concerning the registered occupant is displayed on the screen nearby. Signaler. Unit appears to have been deactivated. With a glass, Rachel looks like she might simply be asleep. On closer inspection, she does not appear to be breathing. They killed her. Yep. Yep. This is when we would have found that out. Alright. Ah, there's a version 1.0 of me running around somewhere. That thing looks like it was deactivated. <gasps> Did you kill him? <sighs> what the? So there's two of you. An imposter! Yep. I bet you're the one who turned off Rachel's pod. No, it was the other guy. I should have slagged you both the moment I walked in the door. Wait. Don't. My little one. My little one would never hurt anyone. You can't be sure that's not... Hmm. An injured Kaido watches with a mix of concern and wariness. You. <sighs> My little one. The life I brought into this world. The real you huh. will remember. Remember that first terrible name I almost gave you. Would Round. It was round. Was that? That? What? That was it, though. Because we ended up going with Cube. Round D. Oh. Uh... Oh, okay. We can do it from the private quarter school. <sighs> All right. If you choose to review your memory, it tells you it exactly. Yeah, but I, I, I thought I had My it. Little one, the life I brought, the real you. Remember that first terrible. Because we went with Cube, but. Greetings. I am the control AI of this vessel. It is my duty to know and understand you. An emergency has been declared on this vessel. I am present. At present, I am attempting to ascertain the location of crewmate Kato and Corporal Darth. We'll see. You're quite round. Round D. You're right. It was with a Y. Remember that first. I was close. 
Look, man, don't expect the person with literally memory problems to remember exactly, okay? Close is good enough. Though, no, granted, my mom always said close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. Dasha! It would be in your best interests to stop. This ship is my domain, and I its master. You will live. Or you will die at my pleasure. So, this is our murderer's puppet. Yep. Who are you? Destination. O D ten of the Cognetto Ergo Sum. Kato, you know what it was talking about? Who's O D one O? O D one O is Decimus. Oh. The AI that manages everything on the Cogito Ergo Sum. Stay with me, Kato. Oof. How much you want to bet in the, um... The control AI, you said. How much you want to bet that in the... Medbay, Decimus just decided not to help Kirk. Someone must be trying to hijack your ship, then. No. That's not possible. It's... A completely isolated, self-contained system. I can't even apply an update unless we bring it in for maintenance. So, what are you saying? That the AI itself has lost its mind? Yep. I have no idea. But in light of everything, we have to consider the possibility. Yep. If you're right, then you and me and everyone else, we've all been dancing to that mad machine's tune. Yep. The main computer room. That's where we need to go now. Yep. You're coming with me, Clank. I want you where I can see you in case Decimus tries to commandeer another puppet. That's fair. I wanted to look at the body. Well, it was worth a shot. Hey, I opened the vent hatch. It's fine. Thank you. So yeah, this really was 2001 A Space Odyssey. With a uh, dash of some alien in it. Locked. As you'd expect. We can't afford to be too aggressive here, else we risk damaging critical systems. At worst, we could turn this ship into a floating coffin. Eh, yeah, fair. Nothing I have the tool. It, then. Clank, I'm sending you back to Kato. Oh, the loading screens have changed to a creepy AI message? I didn't notice because they go by so quick. We must have an idea for how we can deal with OD-10 safely. I'll stay here for now. I doubt very much OD-10 will allow the behemoth to venture too close to this area. The beast could just as easily tear apart its mainframe as it could our bodies. I was right in that it was a good idea to jump over it. Elevator. Yeah, well. One could hope. Yeah, I thought that wouldn't change. So, so far we have... Oh, yeah. Odeo. Odeo Outright. Odeo. Odeo. And OD10. I mean, I do appreciate the continuity. Huh. 
<sighs> All right. Back to Kato. going to be in this one. Um, shouldn't this thing know that I'm a force to be reckoned with? Where are you? I heard it. Yeah, shouldn't you know I'm a force to be reckoned with because I beat that game? Sheen appears a curious resemblance of the cube. It appears to be deactivated. That's one way to phrase it. Is that you, little one? What are you doing back here? How to deal with OD10 without damaging the ship? Yeah. You don't understand. OD10 is the ship. I know that. To effectively disable it, to destroy it, would render the ship inoperable. We'd never get home. Although, you are a robot. Indeed, with your integrated functions, you might well be able to breach their defenses. Yes, but... And I become the new ship. To even have a chance, you'd need to route your connection to the interface room through an unmonitored terminal. Oh, of course. I know which one would work. Uh, uh. Hello? Appears to have lost consciousness. Despite your best efforts, he does not respond. Great. Oh, I just read the message. That thing moves super quick. Good thing I lost him on the curve there. Yeah, I read that one that time. The same thing over and over again about the master and the ergo sum. No. Oh. I gotta go higher. That was on me. Yeah, I think that was the best thing I could have unlocked. There we go. I have an idea. Well then, no wonder OD10 was so confident. We surrendered complete and total control to it in the name of convenience. Yep. It really is lord and master of its domain. So, Kato said you might be able to breach its defenses, did he? Provided we find a suitable terminal, that is. Yep. I imagine this one. Pity he'd passed out before telling us which one it was. We'll have to find it on our own. <sighs> Just my luck. I can't believe I'm putting my life in the hands of a clank. Yep, well. <sighs> in for a penny, in for a pound. Take this. I'm heading to the interface room. Communicator obtained. Thank you. If I had to guess... Where the unmonitored terminal would be. Because we know this one's monitored. Yeah. We know this one's monitored. Wonder if it's near the beast. I can't reach that one. Main computer room. Yeah, there's that. 
Um. Okay, if I had to guess. This is Darth. Where are you? I see. Well, I've made my way to the interface room. But of course, this terminal alone won't suffice. Hmm. 